Hi guys, so today I have a couple of things to share with you that LDRs Creative brought to HSN for uh, this month's craft day. Um, LDRs did send these items free of charge for my review and all opinions are my own. Any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I will make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So these two items I'm going to show you um, will be separate, but I'm going to show them to you in this video and um, hopefully we can put something together here with them. So this first item is the new ephemera pack. <sighs> called Cherished Ephemera Die Cuts. And the other thing I will show you um, right after this is a paper pack. Ooh, let's look at this. So cute, love the packaging. It's like in a box, but it's like a chubby envelope. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay. Wow, okay, so let's <laughs> take a look at these guys. Um, let me see on this side it says it has 160 die cut tags 44 white outline die cuts 26, 26 gold foil vellum phrases 60 floral bouquet die cuts and 45 sentiment die cuts so it looks like these are the sentiment die cuts you are so loved very sweet color palette thanks for all you do again something like this you just pop it on top and I've been a huge fan of doing that recently if you guys have noticed I like to just use um a die cut for the sentiment or however it is that you want to do that. You are awesome. Enjoy the little things. Best wishes. Oh, I love the font on that. Hello, my friend. Thankful for you. And then some words like loved, beautiful, celebrate. You are my greatest adventure. Oh, and these would be sweet too for like a mini album or just a scrapbook in general. And dream big. And some of the same sentiments in different colorways, which is always nice. You can see celebrate beautiful in like a pink, purple, and a blue. So that's kind of what we're looking at. It's like pink, purpley, blue color palette on that one. Wow. Okay, so these are I just like cut pieces, little ephemera for fun things. Um, because this is more of a topper because they're really big. Let's see here. Um, best. Our love is the best. Love. <laughs> so I had to make sure I was reading that right. It's a circular pattern there. And the little frames, again with that watercoloring kind of in the background. I don't know if you can see that. Um, beautiful little flower. Grateful. And you guys, you know, you can just deck these out in different journals and cards and make your paper clips, which have been really fun to do recently. Uh, for me, at least. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, how cute. It looks like a little note card, but, or like it cut, um, came out of a notebook. Little tags. Just the word lovely. Best day ever. Little frame where that kind of popped out of that you can still use. Oh, <laughs> there's just tons of your picture. Perfect, simply perfect. Tags. Little words there. Mash smile. More tags. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's, um, I'm assuming the one that they called die cut tags. And all those little circles, if you want to make it into a tag tag, you can just pop a little hole in it and then there you go, ready to go. Uh, let's see. Look at these. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. Just pop that onto your card in a journal, but a card with a sentiment and things. Very quick card. And lots of different sizes. I do like that. Like this one's a little bit smaller. That one was more medium, large. Oh, look at this one. Love that. Yeah, and look, and they're almost similar, but this one's a bit larger. Depending on what your project is, what you want to do. Oh my goodness. So pretty. As you can see, the little guy and the big guy. <laughs> Actually, it seems like some of them have the three sizes, even at that. There's just so much right here in my hands. Just wow. Look at this one. Love it. Love the watercolor look. That's really, really pretty. 
especially because I'm not great at doing that myself. So if you want that look, you know, so pretty. Okay, these guys in here. The white die cut pieces. Again, you can color these up. You can leave them pristine and white so that everything else, it kind of pops off of whatever else you're doing. But look at the size of these. Perfectly die cut. So pretty. I can just see putting these in the background. Like, oh my gosh. Or even if you were having um, embossing ink or watermark ink, just kind of dip this in there. Dip this in the ink and then pour whatever embossing powder you want on top of it and then heat set it. And now this is like an enamel piece that has all that embossing on there that looks really pretty. And especially because they're nice and sturdy, so it'd be a really um, nice thing to do with them. Large pieces, smaller, oh, little sprigs, little flowers. Oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> He's like a little tulip looking flower. And there are just tons and tons of these. One looks like a rose. All these little sprigs. Look at this one. Woo! Slimline, you know, like there's just so many different styles and sizes in here. It's so pretty. I messed them too much. Look at this. That would be perfect for like a 5 by 7 or a journal or something. Wow. Okay, I'm going to stack these back up nicely. I don't want to get them too jumbled up. We'll put that there. And then uh, vellum, um, gold foiled vellum sentiments. How cool is that? So, you know, you can just cut this with your guillotine or your paper trimmer. If you have a die that's large enough um, to cut something that's a bit longer like this, that's like a label die, or just, you know, however you want to do that. Look at that. And there are, feels like a couple sheets of those. So they repeat, I believe. Yeah. You can see them right through that they are exactly the same. So pretty. And then uh, a project sheet, inspiration project sheet, which is great. Look how they just layer all these up. That's really cute. And then put a little picture in the middle there. Aw, that's so sweet. And again, a scrapbook page, which is kind of what I was mentioning there. Because, yeah, I mean, how pretty is that? All right, let me get the, uh, put these things away. I'll bring the paper pack out. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, maybe you saw in the inspiration that there was some paper in the background that looked very similar to this. So, yep, they go hand in hand. We have the lovely watercolor. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is 60 sheets, double-sided, four of each design. I love that already for my traveler's notebooks. <laughs> you know we love our double-sided paper. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, this feels so sizable, because usually in a paper pad you get like 24 sheets, right? I mean, that's typical. Um, so you, you, you know what that feels like, so this feels like really, really substantial. Okay, the paper is, does it say on here... Um, it doesn't say the weight. It is acid and lignin free, it says. Um, I don't know how to explain that to you. <laughs> it's a good weight. It's a nice weight. Um, so look at the how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cool. Is it even better? You know, it's the same on both sides, which I actually really, really love because a lot of times it is hard to choose which side you want to choose and all that. And look at that. Oh my gosh, very smart. I love this. Okay, so again, four of each. So I'll just show you the front because the back is basically the same. So pretty. Oh, this one's just a little kind of fun. I was going to say geometric, but it's not really geometric. It's just a fun little pattern. Look at this. Oh, and having four of each paper, honestly, I know we don't want to cut our papers like you have plenty you can even cut into half of this thing and you still have half which again is like what you normally have in a paper pack anyway so I would I mean use it guys use it use it look at how pretty this is oh my gosh you know this looks like a little doodled but it still has like a distressed look to it so it's really cool look at that oh you guys mm -mm -mm. all right <laughs> Traveler's Notebook, here we come. Look at this. And then the little vine, which looks super pretty if you you, know, you pair up these things like this one with this one in the back. Just soft and sweet. 
a little sweet kind of periwinkle-ish color, a little more lavender. I always, for me, when I think of periwinkle, I think of it being more like purpley, but it's just, I guess it is more of a blue, huh? So maybe that one's more of a lavender on it. Look at this cool page. Again, scrapbook page. Can you just imagine putting like a little picture, a little bit of the ephemera, and you're like good to go. Oh, okay, on this one, there is a choice to be made. <laughs> the purple on the back there. Pretty. Yeah, this definitely looks like scrapbook pages to me. And this one has the peachy pinky on the back. So we do have some choices. Ooh, oh my gosh. This color palette is just so pretty. There you go. I mean, look at... Oh, I love it all together. And this one has like that little pinky, kind of purple going into it. On the back, it's more green. And then this one again, we have that little blot in the center. And then this one has the more peachy pinky colors. This isn't only for scrapbooks. I mean, if you were going to cut this for a card, cut it off like that or cut it wherever you want, you, of course you can do that. And this one goes from like the lime kind of green colors to like a teal. I think these are really, really great for layering too because since they have some color but not a lot going on, I would pair it up with like one of these patterns on top, you know, so it's kind of peeking out. So pretty. All right. Let me gather my thoughts because I'm like, <laughs> there's a lot of prettiness here. Let them um, kind of yeah. fall. Um, so let's make a card today. So let me grab some things, um, think about what I want to do as far as layering it up, and we'll get to it. Okay, guys, so what I did was cut down a standard piece of 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper to 8.5 by 7. And I'm going to score that at 3.5 inches. That's going to be a slimline base. And I had mentioned I wanted to use that. Uh, larger piece for like a slim line so that's what we're gonna do let me get this little stylus all right so that's gonna be three and a half by eight and a half and then we have this pretty piece that I want to you know kind of tuck in here somewhere so uh, I'm gonna start with that and just kind of match it up to the papers and see which paper I would like to put this on. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just going to go through and just to find a base piece of paper that I think I might like to use. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I kind of went through and I picked out two papers. The side here we're going to play with this a little bit more so we have our card base and I chose these two so um, this one is cut three and a quarter by eight and a quarter and this one is cut just smaller than three and a half by eight and a half so these are going to layer up you can see that little brush mark kind of peeks out from behind and we have the green I mean it looks lovely even with that one however you want to use it it all coordinates um, and so I think that will be my base and then we'll, we're going to put this down we're going to play off of that one other thing I'm going to do is add a little inking around the edges just so you can see um, a lot of times when people have ephemera they feel like you're just going to stack these things up but you can still ink it up and do some fun things I'm going to ink this um, we could ink that too but I'm just going to put some purple in the background here so let me grab let me find a purple that um, I'd like to put on the edge there, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to use Plum Crazy. And I'm just going to ink up the edges, however you like to do that. I'm just going to use this little guy. And I'm just going to go on the edge, okay? Load up a little more color when I'm ready for it. And I'll be back. Okay, all done with that. So I'm just going to layer these up and glue them down. And then we'll start playing with some of the ephemera and just layer up pieces or whatever it is that we would like to do. So I'm just going to simply glue these down. Put this one down. And center that as well as I can. I'll go ahead and glue this on top of this. And I'm also going to glue this. And it has really nice large um, areas. So I'm just going to go through with my bottle of glue and just line that whole thing up. And pop that right down there. Okay. So 
stuck that down kind of towards the left. We have these guys. I think as far as florals, I pretty much already did it with that background, so I'm not going to use that. Maybe this. We have the gold foil sentiments, but let's look at these guys. Now, normally I wouldn't just take them all out like this. <laughs> I would just kind of keep them in the bag and sort through, but um, just for the video here, you can kind of have an idea. You know, this is a little too matchy-matchy. So we have like lots of different things that we can put on here. Maybe a little tag. A little frame. The words, we have these guys. Things like that we can layer up in here and there. That's cute. This matches really nicely too. You don't think about putting it over here. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and kind of play with this and see what... Oh, isn't that perfect? That fits in there, so that's nice to know. So we have also, again, another purple one here. That we could do that with. But anyhow, I'm going to play with these guys and see what it is that I want to put on there. And I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to do something like this. Now, if you want to ink that up, you can definitely ink it up again, just like I did before. I think I might ink up a little bit of this green one. So I'm just going to take some green ink and just go around the edges, just like I did on this part. And I'll be back. Okay, so I just took a little green, did that. I think what I'm going to do is put all this together like this and then pop that up. So let's go ahead and... Put a little blue on the back of this. That's going to be like that. This can be like this. And my little hugs. I'm also going to just... Right there. And on the back of this we'll put some 3D adhesive. I'm just going to take this 3D glue gel. Hopefully hasn't closed up on me. Really sweet. So I'll probably pop some little rhinestones or something in here. And there's our sweet card. Layering and all kinds of sweet stuff. I have one other thing I want to show you and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, one thing, um, you know, that came to mind as soon as I opened these things up is to make, like, an insert for a traveler's notebook. You can make it just a journal. It can be on Sorry, its own. Sorry, I was about to misspeak. So it makes a 5 by 7 journal or insert, which is like a B6 um, insert. So what I did was cut the papers down to 7 by 10. I scored them at 5 inches on each one because um, sometimes I usually just stack them up and fold them. But since this is some really nice cardstock, it's, it was hard to do that. So I just scored each one at 5, folded it. And then I just cut some craft cardstock to go on the outside, which is 7 by a little bit over 10 inches so that it would not have paper sticking out in the center here. It just kind of covers it really nicely. And just to make it into a journal, I'm just going to um, use my little swing arm stapler to staple that. Usually, for my traveler's notebooks, I staple from the inside out, but since this is just like a little journal insert, it still can be an insert. Uh, I'm just going to staple from the outside. If you don't have like a little stapler that can help you do that, you can just make a couple holes three holes and then just bind it kind of like a figure eight and then you'll, it'll be together or don't even put it together if you're going to put it inside a traveler notebook I am going to do a couple things before I finish this up I'm going to take my corner rounder because I like that look so I'm going to go around all the corners and do a little corner rounding I think we'll put some little ephemera on the cover of this and um, and make a little uh, paper clip an altered paper clip and we'll have another little project. I'll be right back. So this is super pretty. What I'm going to do is just choose probably one of these guys. Oh, you know what? Since I already chose that. I'm pretty like that. Just going to glue that down. So usually on my inserts, I don't need them to be super bulky, but you want to put something cute on there. I think about how I want to put this again. <laughs> I'm just looking at the little flowers and what they want to do. Maybe like that actually. And I'll 
go through these and pick out maybe another word or something to put on the top of this and I'll be right back. Again, just keeping it all flat because that's what I want for an insert, but you can put a little dimension, maybe even put a little twine on this. I'm just going to put this little dream big. Okay, I'm going to let that uh, dry and I want to make like a little altered paper clip so I'm going to put that to the side for now and the reason I chose that flower is because for this I had chosen this little flower so I thought it's really cute so these tags are in the book or in the in the book what am I talking about <laughs> in the uh, package for the ephemera there and then I have this pretty guy and then this uh, I think will look cute and all these pieces you know when I cut down my book um, whatever you have left over you can make an ultra paper clip with all of this and I did want to mention I did say a lot of the papers are the same front and back um, sometimes they're slightly different in the sizing like I don't know if you can see the flowers on here are much larger and on the back side they were a little bit smaller so even though it's very similar might be a little bit different so that's really nice like this piece of paper honestly I didn't measure I, well I'll measure it now for you guys it's seven by two I would take this and probably use this side I would fold it in half and then take another scrap of paper that's about the same size and um, yeah, another scrap like this one um, and that was seven inches so I'd cut this one a little bit smaller maybe like it's six and three quarters or something fold that in half and you see I'm not even <laughs> using any kind of tools I'm just eyeballing this but you could also put that in there with your paper clip and now you have another hidden paper clip of course I like these to be exactly flush at the end so we'll talk about that in just a minute on the one we are going to make but I just want to show you real quick that you could do the same with all your leftover pieces or you know add them here and there you know this little guy can even maybe cut down a piece and add it there just accents with all the little scraps that you have uh, I'm just going to take a paper clip it doesn't really matter the size style color as long as it's just a paper clip I'll just use that one um, that's a little guy paper clip. Uh, let me see, it doesn't even say what size. <laughs> I thought I might tell you on there what size it is. And I am using the two tags, but again, you can use the scraps of paper you have or make your own little tab um, tag really easily by just cutting the rectangle um, and then cutting off those little sides. So this is going to be a little bit different than what I've shown before because look, I have the scrap that just came off the other piece. I don't need this to be too big. So I am going to fold that in half and just to give you an idea it's about two and a quarter by one and a half and for this one so it depends um, if you want this to be completely something that's going to go inside your notebook and not stick out on the top then you want this piece of paper to be more similar to the same size because you really need this all the way down so that it doesn't snag right as you're using it so for me this piece is going to stick up out of the top of my book but again if you want it just measure what you have here and then fold over your paper that way so we have this it's gonna be like this so we're gonna take our paper clip and we are just going to put tons of glue and I'm gonna do this a little bit different than I normally do so really make it so that it's on the very edge because you don't want that to come up I'm gonna put this right on here We're not going to glue the two tags together because then you wouldn't be able to slip it over your paper. So this is just another way of showing you how to do something when it's not one solid piece of paper that's folded over like this. With this I would do the same thing. I'd put my little paper clip in there. Actually I probably will since we have it here. Why not? <laughs> this video, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I hope you're sticking around. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just get another paper clip. I am going to trim this one down though so that's exactly the same. So as we have that one, we can do this one. There's all kinds of tricks you can do with this like whenever you put this in here it's going to push it down a little bit because the clip being there. Some people put a slit in the top piece of paper so that it's more taken care of. Do whatever you like. Actually I usually put glue on both sides of this one just so I'm holding it down once. Again, really make sure that glue is on the very bottom. Okay, now this one, 
I'm only going to put glue here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, make sure it's right at the very bottom. That's the most important. And now I'm going to take this guy and line it up. We're not trying to glue the two tags together, but we do want that glue to stick to our tag, of course. So, you know, you just kind of feel it, making sure that's stuck down really well and not stuck together. And I'll be back once these are set up. Okay, so just as you're doing this, making sure they didn't glue together and it's not the two sides. That's perfect. Um, so I'm just going to add this little sprig and put glue really in the center because I know it's not, some of it's going to be hanging off. And this little guy, again, I keep them flat because they are going to go in there. You want to add some ribbons and bows and whatever it is that you like, you know, go for it. I'm just going to put that on there. And since the paper clip is in there, you do want to make sure that you're uh, keeping this kind of flush to the paper, right, so it sticks. And I think on this one I'm going to add my little ribbon, if I can find it. Um, there it is. <laughs> I usually keep this little organza ribbon right next to me, but for some reason it was somewhere else right now. Okay. And just to finish this one off, I'm going to put this in here and just tie it in a simple little knot, okay, on the top, and I'll be right back. Okay, and there's our little topper, and <laughs> dare I employ my flame, I will. Just very carefully just run that just to cinch that so it doesn't come apart later and just barely touching it okay and there's that one and where's my we can bring this little guy back and we can then just pop this on here where's it opening it so cute oh and yep and that's as far as that one goes down like i said because i made it so it's just here so it's gonna be sticking out and then this one is gonna be a little more flush if we're going to keep this one here because of the way we uh, made it so the paper clip goes all the way down okay so again if you want this one to be more like this one just that inner piece make it so that it goes all the way up to here you know fold it over and so with this little guy um you know i hadn't planned on this one this one was just kind of a fun thing i threw together here so i'll just go through maybe um i do like corner rounding doing something fun oh you know what you can do all kinds of fun things actually you can like tear this bottom just to make it look kind of cool. Maybe cut it with a deckle edge trimmer. Um, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, let's see, stub. Stub. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> let's do this one. Whenever I use that one, I always like to do all the corners. So I'll bring it up here even. So now it has a little stub look to it. And again, I'll just go through and find some cute things I want to glue on there. I'll have some images for you guys. Thank you so much, um, LDRS for signing these items for a review. And I hope that was fun for you guys. I was just kind of putting some things together. Aw, maybe a little flower or something else to go with that. So, anyhow, I'll have some images for you guys. I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.